Hello there, it's Di Coke here from Super Lucky, and today I've got a short guide on how to use browser bookmarks. So I'm gonna show you how to use bookmarks, how to save, edit, and organize them in Chrome and Safari on a computer and on your mobile device. Now as a compa, bookmarks are definitely one of my favorite organizational tools, but you can use them for loads of things. It really saves you time instead of Googling for websites, instead of typing the address in the menu bar in your browser, save them all in your bookmark folders and it will save you a ton of time. I really hope you find this guide useful. Let's get started with Chrome bookmarks. First of all, if you have a Google account, make sure you're signed into it because then you can sync your bookmarks across all your devices. To see if you're signed in, just look for your photograph or your initials top right of your browser window. Now, if you've not got a Google account, you can get one really easily by going to accounts.google.com. You don't need a Google or a Gmail email address. You can sign up with any email address and it's worth doing because not only will it make bookmarks a lot easier, you'll also find Google Maps, Google Drive, loads of handy things that you can use once you've got a Google account. First thing I want to show you is the bookmarks bar. That's where it all happens. So Command Shift and B is a shortcut to show the bookmarks bar, but you can also go to the three dots on the right hand side, go to bookmarks and then show bookmarks bar will show and hide your bookmarks bar if you do forget that shortcut. On a PC, it's Control Shift and B to show that bar. Now you can see already I've got quite a busy bookmarks bar. I've got individual bookmarks and I've also got folders up there and it might not mean much to you at the moment but it makes sense to me and I've abbreviated things so I can squeeze as many useful things onto my bookmarks bar as possible. So let's save a bookmark. If you know the name of the address you want to save you can type it into your address bar. If you don't simply go to Google and search for it. Navigate to the web address to exactly the page you want to save. There's a few different ways you can save this as a bookmark. The first way is simply to click the star at the top of the screen. I'm just going to click remove. Another way is to use a keyboard shortcut. Use Command D on a Mac or Control D on a PC. Just remove that again to show you. Another way you can do it is simply by clicking the icon here and dragging to your bookmarks bar or to any of the folders that you want to put it into and let go. Finally, you can also do it by going to the bookmarks menu and bookmark this tab. So there's loads of different ways you can save that bookmark. Now when you save your bookmark, let's click the star again just to show you, it gives it the default name which is the name of the web page and it puts it in the most recent folder you were in. You can change that location by clicking on that and it will show you recent folders. If none of those are any good, you can also click on more and that will show your full list of bookmarks folders and then you just click on the one you want to save it in. You can also create a new folder here if you want to put it in a brand new folder. What I'm going to do is create a new folder on the bookmarks bar called banking. You can see there that's now changed and it's inside a folder called banking. If I want to take it back out of that folder I can simply click and drag take it back up to the top bar. Again, if I right click on here, I can edit that bookmark. What I'm gonna do is change the name. I don't need this really long name. I can change it to Lloyd's or I can get rid of the name completely and just leave it as the little icon of the Lloyd's horse because I will look at that and I will know that that's online banking. You can see I've already done that for YouTube here and for my own Super Lucky blog and for Google Drive. Those icons are easily recognizable so you don't need to have the name of the website next to it on your bar. That means you can fit lots more onto your bookmarks bar. If I decide I want to put it back in the folder again, I simply click and drag into that folder. So that's how you can move all your bookmarks around and tidy them up. If you want to delete your bookmark, you simply right click and delete. Now I just showed you how to create a folder while you're editing a bookmark, but you can also simply right click on the bar at the top and add folder there too. When you've added it, you can click to rename. Just to show you how folders can be used, you'll see here I've got blog. Now this is all the important things for Super Lucky. So I've got all the spreadsheets that I use. 
um, I've got MailChimp, I've got finances in there as well, affiliates that I use. Down at the bottom, I keep older bookmarks. So I've got all the bookmarks from my Super Lucky Live event. So everything's nice and tidy. Everything related to Super Lucky is in that folder. Competitions as well. In my comp folder here, you can see I've got loads of different folders. So competition sites that I regularly visit, weekly entry competitions. Um, I've got resources for purchase necessary competitions where I can go and find new competitions. Radio and TV, different radio stations that I can visit. So this is a really good way of organising all the websites that you want to visit regularly. I tend to work with my bookmarks just on the bookmarks bar. So I'll be clicking and right clicking just to organise things and rename them. Now bookmarks manager is a good way to see all your bookmarks in one go. So if you go to three dot menu, then bookmarks, bookmarks manager, and then this will show you all your bookmarks. So you can see here, this is my bookmarks bar. And then on the left hand side here, you can go to in all the different folders, see what's in there. And when you're there, you can right click to edit them. You can move them around up and down if you want to. You can also get the same menu if you click over on the three dots on the right hand side. That's the same menu as you get if you right click. So you can delete, you can edit the names, you can change the URL and you can move them up and down so they're in the order that you want. Another handy thing you can do in Bookmarks Manager is actually organise your bookmarks in alphabetical order. You just tap on the three dots, top right, and you can sort by name. So, for example, here you can see I've got a lot of competitions and I'd like to sort them into date order. So, if I sort by name, those are now sorted into closing date order. A really good shortcut in bookmarks is to open all bookmarks in new tabs. So, if I go to the daily entry here, these are competitions that I want to enter every day. So, if I right click, open all, that will open six new tabs you can see here at the top. You'll also see what I've done here is I've given them names. So I've renamed these bookmarks. So they've got the closing date at the start. I've also put in codes that I need. For, so for example, for the Kellogg's competition, I need to use 2365 as the code. And the Nestle one, I need to use this as the code. Just in case I forget what it is, I can go to my bookmark and I remember what I have to type in when I go there. So that's a really good way of using bookmarks to organise something that you want to do every single day. Now talking of competitions, one of the busiest times for Compass is in December when loads of businesses run advent competitions and you need to enter them every single day. Now I'll use bookmarks for this because there's no way I could be organised to go to a competition website and click through 300 listings every single day. So I have a folder called Ad at the top, short for Advent, and I just clear this out every year in November so it's ready for the new year. And in here I've got essential, essential Advent competitions that I really must enter every single day and then underneath I've also got all the folders web, Facebook, instant wins, apps. If I've got time I will go to these other folders as well but generally I will choose a handful of essential competitions that I really want to do every day and what I do is I will put up to 15 um, bookmarks in each of these folders and then each day I will click and I will click to open all and then it will open up to 15 and I will just rattle through and enter all those essential competitions every day in December. And what I'll do is I'll just keep an eye on the new advent competitions that I find on Twitter, on Google, on competition listings, websites. And when I see one that I like the look of, I will just click and I'll drag it into my advent folder and I'll leave it there. Then from the 1st of December, I can start entering them. You can also edit directly here so I can right click. And then, for example, if I know that this one's only the 12 days of Christmas, so I can put in it ends on the 12th of December. So I know that after the 12th of December, I can just delete that from my list because it's closed. So you can change the names, drag them up and down, organise them however you want to make it easier for you. Now bookmarks can also be really useful for saving Google searches. So if there's something you search for regularly, in my case, I might search for competitions to win a trip to Tokyo. You can put that in a Google search and then you can save it and check it regularly to see the latest results. So for example, how about win flights to New York? search for it. When you get your results, click on tools, change it to UK and change it to the last week to make sure that you've got current competitions. Have a look down to see if there's anything you're interested in, enter some competitions and then bookmark that, that search 
down here, comps. So you can see in here, I've got comps and I've got, oh, where is it? Find comps and Google searches. Pop that in wherever you want on your list. And then next week, when you've got time, quickly go to your Google searches and search for it again. Now it's always going to show you up to date results because you've got that past week setting. And that is a really useful tip for setting up searches for all the things you want to win. Another tip, you might have different Google accounts and you can set up different bookmarks on each one. To switch between the accounts, get a people on your top bar and then choose your other account. A window will open and it's got a whole different set of bookmarks in for that Google account. So these are all my football club bookmarks. So what about bookmarks in Safari then? Well, in Safari, you actually have favorites and bookmarks and your favorites bar is here across the top. You'll see I've not got much on it because I don't use Safari. Um, but I've got a few favourites here. I've got three favourites and then also a folder there with a lot of different radio stations in. So that's your favourites bar. Now, to find your bookmarks, if you click on this little icon, top left, this shows your favourites there and your bookmarks. I've only got one bookmark in there at the moment. So that's how you can see them all together. So back to the favourites bar. Let's see how we actually save a favourite. So let's go to my website, Super Lucky and see if we can save that. Now, if you hover over the left-hand side here, there's a little plus sign. If you click on that, it will add to your reading list. I don't want to do that. I want to right click and I want to save it to my favorites bar. So save it to favorites and there it is. And again, just like what we did with Chrome, we can edit that. So right click, rename. I just want to change that to super lucky. There you go. You can also save a bookmark by using the same shortcuts as Chrome, Command-D on a Mac or Control-D on a PC. Also, if you click in this bar, it will show you your favourites and frequently visited websites. And you can click and you can drag that icon to wherever you want it to be. So you can create a bookmark that way as well. In the sidebar here, again, you can just right click and you can edit and delete your bookmarks and move them around. Another way of actually accessing your bookmarks to edit them is bookmarks, edit bookmarks. And this will give you a list similar to bookmarks manager in Chrome, where you can see your bookmarks here. And again, you will just right click to rename, edit address, delete bookmarks. If you want to create a new folder for your favorites, right click in the top bar, same as in Chrome. If you want to create a new bookmarks folder, show your sidebar and click down here to create a new bookmarks folder at the bottom. To use bookmarks on your mobile device, open up Chrome and tap the three dots and then bookmarks. You see here you've got your bookmarks bar which is all the folders that we looked at earlier. You've also got a mobile bookmarks folder here as well. If you want to add a bookmark, tap the three dots, swipe down, tap the plus sign. It's automatically bookmarked into the last folder you used. If you want to change that, simply tap on the folder name and move it to somewhere else. I'm going to put it into resources. You can also change the name. If you want to make the name shorter, you can just edit it there and done to save it. If you want to delete a bookmark, go to your bookmarks and simply swipe to delete. In Safari, you can access your bookmarks just by tapping on the book icon at the bottom of the window. Again, you've got your favorites and your regular bookmarks there too. To save a bookmark, simply tap and hold on the book icon and then add bookmark. To change the location of your bookmark, tap on favorites and then create a new folder or move it to where you want it to go. You can also edit the name of the bookmark there too. Tap to go to your bookmarks. If you want to delete a bookmark, simply swipe to the left. And if you want to edit, Either tap edit at the bottom or tap and hold until the edit menu comes up. Well, I hope you found that guide helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you've got any questions at all, leave them in the comments below. And also make sure you do pop over and visit my blog at Superlucky because I've got lots more tips there on how you can make the most of bookmarks.